All right. With that said, uh, let's get into the today's topic. We've got a young man here I was with yesterday, and I'm just proud of this guy. Listen, let me just say this. His goal is this year, a new year breakthrough. This is our second week. He was out in the he was out showing us the tree last week in the grass and, and the plants and what had to grow and go through. Without further ado, from Dallas, Texas, the one and only backbone and posture man himself. Let's give a warm welcome to the one and only Sam Foster. <laughs> All right, all right, I'm back outside. I'm officially back outside. Some people would say I'm off the porch. Last night was amazing. Thank you, Mr. Thomas, for coming down and blessing us with your grace and your presence. I appreciate you for coming down, being the servant leader that you were on yesterday. The team appreciates you, appreciates you from all over the state of Texas. And by the way, I'm up to seven leads and I think uh, nine videos. So seven leads, nine videos. Um, ladies and gentlemen, if you're taking notes, if you're taking notes, I want you to put this down on this breakthrough session, this breakthrough season. Many people make a, a declaration on New Year's and they say things like, I want to lose weight. I want to make more money and things of that nature. They, they, they say that an awful lot, but we want to back those things up with action, with action. So in other words, I want you to put this down. You're taking notes. Two words I want you to put down. Fads and diets. That's right. That's right. I know it sounds crazy. I know it sounds crazy. For those of you who've been on the call with me before, I know it sounds crazy, but I'm going somewhere. Fads versus diets. Why are you saying that? Why are you saying fads versus diets? Because anytime that you're getting ready to do something that's going to condition yourself, you're going to be looking at mainly two things, whether it's going to be a fad or whether it's going to be a diet of some sort, because it's going to be a breaking away of some sort. In other words, you're going to have to condition yourself. You're going to have to train yourself. So that's going to be fads versus diets. When you go for your New Year's resolutions, many people say they're going to stick to a strict regimen. And oftentimes, that's not the case. Sat down with the team on yesterday. We were brainstorming, and a lot of people had a lot to say. But it all boils down to two concepts, fads versus, fads versus diets. Fads versus diets. See, I'm going somewhere. It relates to breakthrough. It relates to your breakthrough. First of all, we want to break down what is a fad. Well, first of all, a fad is something that usually happens spare of the moment. Uh, it's, a, it's a flash in the pan, as they would say. It's something that people just do off a of whim. That's what a fad is. It's something that just comes along and everybody wants to ride the wave. All right? But when you're looking at a diet, a diet concept, it requires conditioning. It requires discipline. And as you can see, ladies and gentlemen, I'm taking my, my, my daily walk. I'm walking around right now, taking my daily walk, conditioning myself, strengthening my mind as well as my body. Why? Because I don't want to be in the fad position. I want to be in the diet position. In other words, I want to cut away things that I no longer need. I want to be able to be in position this year to go forward for my breakthrough. Now, when Mr. Thomas came to us yesterday, he dropped nuggets, jewels and nuggets all over the place, ladies and gentlemen. He did that. He told us some things that I'm going to be pushing forward with and applying myself. Now, let's take, let's take this fad concept just a little bit further, if you will. I won't be on long, but this fad concept is the aspect that we have to stop at some point and check ourselves, ladies and gentlemen. We need to have a checkup from the neck up. Now, this is not a bad session. This is just to let us know the position that we're in, we have to check ourselves because we don't want to be labeled as a fan. First of all, if you guys are new on the call, ATN has officially celebrated 30 years, three and a zero, 30 years being in business. We don't call that a fan. We call that an official diet. Why? Because they're, they've strengthened themselves. They put themselves through the fire, the, the murk and the mire. 
They've been proven. We've been proven. Let me not say they. We've been proven. Anybody that's on this call that's connected with us, we've been proven as a 30-year track record. Now, I want that to sit for somebody. I want somebody to, to digest that diet pill right there. Whenever you can tell somebody you have a 30-year track record, that's a proven system, ladies and gentlemen. That's a proven system. We don't have to sit back and guess or wonder about anything. One thing I took away last night when Mr. Thomas came in the room, I looked around and I thought to myself, I said, we have a proven system. Not just a track record, but we have a proven system that has stood the test of time over three decades. In other words, it's a proven system that works. We've exercised this thing. We've taken some things away. We've added some things. We've chiseled some things. In other words, we're fit for the fight. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. That's right. That's right. That's right. We're fit for the fight. We've been dieting on this thing for a long time. We have various services that everybody has, needs, and takes advantage of every single day. And I started thinking to myself, ladies and gentlemen, because by the way, I haven't been to sleep in the last three days. And last night, I literally sat up in a chair all night thinking about this ACN insomnia. And it wouldn't shake my spirit. Fad versus diet. And let's, let, let, let's examine this diet thing. If you're on this call, you're already on your regimen. What needs to happen when we come off the call is strict application. What separates the winner from the individuals that stays in the fad? Application, application, motivation, and application. In other words, doing what you say you're going to do. Doing what you say you're going to do every single day. If you got a lead, get another one. If you got a lead, get another one. If you're getting ready to get on this call the next couple of days, apply yourself. Say to yourself, if I got two today, I can get three tomorrow, then four, then five. Why? Because it multiplies itself. You go from a talker to a doer. In other words, from fad to diet, we go from talkers to doers. It's an application process. It's an application process. That's all it is. That's all it is. What I'm saying is nothing new. We go to an application process. And when we do that, we strengthen our minds, our bodies, and our souls at the same time. In other words, we're to get in the rhythm. If somebody looks like they're not doing so well, pick them up. Pick them up. We know each other pretty well on these calls because by now we've met, most of us have met each other over a period of time. If you've been in ACN for at least the last five or six years, most of us have met each other at some point or other or saw each other on these Zoom calls. So we pretty much know what to expect from most of us at its inception. In other words, ladies and gentlemen, we are to motivate each other. Anytime you see us getting on these calls and putting it forward and putting it forward, it's to motivate somebody, even ourselves, to be self-motivated. Now, I'm going to show you guys what I did. I'm going to show you application and not just talk. When I got to the event on last night, I noticed I was in the lobby. I was in the lobby. I scanned the lobby. I scanned the lobby. Even though I had guests coming, I scan the lobby. Whenever you are in a, in, a, in a public place, scan your area. Scan your area. Because what you're going to usually find is other people. And ladies and gentlemen, if you don't know those people, they're right for the picking. In other words, they're your diet people. Oh, that's right. That's right. I'm still on that diet. I'm still on that diet. They're your diet people. All these potentials are nothing but diet people. Why? Because you can get a name and a number from each individual. Rolled up on a set of guys who, 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 do trust, uh, who do trust work. They were from three different countries. One from, was from Australia, one from here, and one from another country. I just got to talking to them casually. Then I edified Mr. Thomas. I'm going to show you how this works now. 
my mind got in the overdrive. I said, well, I got Mr. Thomas in the mix. I pulled him from inside the meeting as he was uh, getting ready to do what he does. I said, we got a little time to kill. I ended up getting three names and numbers, three leads from those individual people that were sitting there. Why? Because I scanned the room. Then I edified Mr. Thomas. Then I went in and grabbed two magazines, Success From Home, and I edified the fact that he was in those magazines. I opened the magazine up and threw them on the table. Now, these people were in the lobby. I threw it on the table. I said, how do you argue with somebody that's been in this publication for 10 years consecutively? 10 years. Been at the top of two network marketing companies, at the tip top, not at the bottom. A proven track record. A proven track record. Then I said, I need to get your name and number because we need to talk. Why? Why did you do that, Sam? Because I knew at some point that whether they came into our meeting or not, I wanted to get, watch this, paperwork on them. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. I like to get paperwork on the people that I talk to. I got the name, I got the number. Why? Because after it's all said and done, I don't care where they go back to, I got paperwork. Some of us need to exercise the exercise of getting paperwork on people, a name and a number. Most people are going to give it to you. 99.9% somebody's going to give it to you. Why? Because everybody wants to feel important. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. Everybody wants to feel important. And when you edify somebody and they can see it as a documentation, they want to know who that person is. I didn't just stop there, ladies and gentlemen. I went to the lady at the front desk and I edified Mr. Thomas again. And I said, who do you know at some point that can get an opportunity to talk to somebody who's been at the top of two companies who have done very well for themselves and that's in your midst right now. The lady started thinking, well, who is it? I said, the young man, a young man that's in the room. I said, he's in the room. I said, but I, what I want to do is, because I know that you're at work. She's at the front desk. I said, write your name and number down. Write your name and number down. I said, because I don't want nobody to just say that until you. I know you got bosses all around the place. You got cameras on you. I said, slide me your number. That's how I see if he can talk with you for a quick second. Long story short, they got to talk. But I got my paperwork. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. I got my paperwork. I got what I was looking for. So I maximized my moment. It's going to be for somebody that needs to say this. I maximized my moment with Mr. Thomas. Got the paperwork, let Mr. Thomas intervene, had a conversation with, with them while I scanned the room again, the lobby, the hallway. I'm always scanning. Why? I need to get paperwork. I need to get paperwork. Why? Because documentation will be the conversation. I need to get a name and a number. That's my paperwork. That's my documentation. That keeps me fit. That keeps my mind sharp. That's what happens when you're trying to stay fit. Watch this. And it's not a fad. Because if it was just a fad, I would have been satisfied with being in Mr. Thomas' mix. In other words, ladies and gentlemen, I'm not just satisfied with being in the SVP mix. It gets me intimidated in a good way. And it's, a, it, it's allowed me to grow myself. So when the, I get around these RVPs and these SVPs, I get motivated. I want to go out and do more. I want to be better than them because somebody at some point need to continue to realize we can break records. We can break records, ladies and gentlemen. Now, I told you I wouldn't be before you long. I just wanted to come out and be back outside. I wanted to walk around. I wanted to keep my mind and my body fit for the fight of 2023 as we embark on this breakthrough. I wanted somebody to understand, I don't care if you got in yesterday, if you've been in the last 30 years, there's more to do, there's more to exercise on, there's more to accomplish, we all know that. And I wanted you to understand the concept between a fan, a fan, and a consistent individual who wants to stay fit for the fight. With that said, ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Thomas, that has been my time. I don't want to come before you long. I want to come before you short, but I want to be effective and efficient.
with that said, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to turn this call back over to you, Mr. Thomas. Thank wow. you again for gracing our presence. Thank you, sir.